Good day, seniors. In this video lesson, we will be answering some selected problems about infinite geometric series. Don't forget, the only formula to use for infinite geometric series is this infinity and it only can be used if we're adding infinite, infinitely many terms where in the common ratio is less than one. Now let's begin answering this problem. Find the first term a sub 1 and the common ratio r of an infinite geometric series whose sum is 5 and it, such that each term is 4 times the sum of all the terms that follow it. So we have a, you're adding an infinite geometric series, B, 4, A5, and so on up to infinity. It says that the sum of the series, which of course is equal to the first term, divided by 1 minus R, is equal to 5. So you have this equation. There's also a condition in the problem that says the first term, the each term, is 4 times the sum of all the terms that follow it. So take the case of this term. It says in the, this term, the first term, is equal to 4 times the sum of all the terms that follow it. So on. So notice that this is also an infinite geometric series, wherein this is your first term, and of course a sub two is can be written as a sub one times r. This can be written as a one r squared. This one is a one r cubed, and so on. So the sum of this infinite, so a one is equal to four times. Some of this infinite geometric series is also using the formula, the first term in the numerator, which in this case is a sub 2. Now let's write it as a1r over 1 minus r, since the common ratio is still r. So here we have an equation. Now notice that this part, a1 over 1 minus r, so I'll show you, I'll write it again, 4 times a1 over 1 minus r times r. Right, Lexis? So a1 over 1 minus r, r is this. And we know that this one is 5. So this can be now written as 20r. So a1 is 20r. So using this, we can substitute 20r to r a sub 1 here. So 20r over 1 minus r is equal to 5. So, dissolving this simple equation, you get 20r is equal to 5 minus 5r and 25r equals 5. So, r is 5 over 25 or simply 1 over 5. So, if r is 1 fifth, then A1 is 20R, so that's 20 times 1 fifth. That's equal to 4. So we have the first term 4 and the common ratio 1 fifth. Now let's check that. So our, our series is 4 plus 4 over 5. We multiply 1 fifth to the, common, to the, the term. So the next must be 4 over 25. The next must be 4 over 125. And so on. So notice that you get the sum of this infinite series. You get 4, the first term over 1 minus r, which is 1 over 5. So that will give you 4 over 4 pips. Or 5. So this is condition is satisfied. And the first term is equal to 4 times the sum of all the terms that follow it. So you consider this series infinite. The first term, the sum of that infinite series is 4 over 5 all over 1 minus r which is also 1 fifth. 
So you have four of pips over four pips. The sum is one. So four times this is the term four. So that's it. Move to the next next last question for this. Hey, okay. I'll have a class to twenty and just leave this video to your room, so I can go somewhere else. <laughs> The sum of all the terms of an infinite geometric sequence is 12. So we have the sum of an infinite geometric series is 12. So you know it's equal to the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And it's equal to 12. Let's write the terms. We have A1. The next must be A1 times R. The next must be A1 times R squared. The next must be A1 times R cubed and so on. So in another condition is that the sum of, of the squares of all its terms is 72. Meaning, what you're adding are the squares of each. So here, it's A1 squared. A1 squared, R squared. Here, A1, R, A1 squared, R to the fourth. And here, you have A1 squared, R to the sixth. So you're adding the squares infinitely getting the sum now notice this is also a geometric progression what is the first term here a1 squared what's the common ratio in this geometric progression Henneloid, what's the common ratio here R, R squared. yes very good so therefore the sum of this particular series is its first term which is a1 squared over 1 minus the common ratio in here and then Lloyd said it's R squared, yes, and this is equal to 72. So you will work with these two equations, this one and this one, in solving. Now, basic A1 squared can be written as A1 over 1 minus R <laughs> times A1 or 1 plus R. <laughs> We just equal to 72. Now what happened here? Simple factoring. A1 squared is A1 times A1 the numerator. 1 minus R squared is 1 minus R and 1 plus R. But you know this. You know the value of this. It's 12. So put 12 there. So that becomes 12. Quantity A1 over 1 plus R. Pangit ng parentheses. <laughs> is equal to 72. So that means uh, A1 over 1 plus R equal to 6. So now let's erase other parts. Right? Favorite color na You work now with this two. We will have your A1 is equal to 12 minus 12R. What happened there? Just cross multiply. Do the same here. What is A1? 6 plus 6R. Therefore, 12 minus 12R. That's not 125. It's R. It's equal to 6 plus 6R. So it's all here. 18R is equal to 6. So R is 6 over 18 or 1 third. So the first term, choose any of the two. 12 minus 12 R, your R is 1 third. 12 times 12 times 1 third, that's 12 minus 4, so 8. You check here, 6 plus 1 third of 6. 6 times 1 third is 2, 6 plus 2, 8. So here you go, your terms, eight, the first term of the sequence. Yeah. Right? Now, since we're nearing 10 minutes, we cannot answer, discuss this problem. So, one piece of advice, what's my favorite part? Yes. So, but I don't have a problem. So just the best way to learn is to do your prob set without just copying from your sources. <laughs>